It's a feeling that's undescribed. I mean, there's no way of describing to you what this feeling is. You're, you're conscious the whole time, you know, it moves on mm -hmm. you. You know, I've, I've had people tell me, well, I, I went plumb out of it, I didn't know what I was doing. I've never done that. I'm not saying there's not an anointing such as that. You better be extra careful because there's always that potential of someone getting bit. Yeah. You know, and, and if it's in a situation where, you know, you know something's going on, then you have to tell them, you know, don't be. And on those circuits. Yeah. You know, that's, I guess that's some of what makes Pastor and the Snake Handling Church hard. I mean, we, you know, we, we tell in the Serpent Handling Churches, you know, if, if, if you're Serpent Handling Church and you've got serpents, you know, there's something there to tell on you. Which, I mean, you know, prophecy can tell on you, preaching mm -hmm. can tell on you, but, you know, especially in, in Serpent Handling, if somebody's not doing all they're supposed to do, then, you know, if they try to handle serpents, most likely it's going to tell on them. We're still here to preach salvation, to, to tell people that, you know, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. That's our main goal. Yeah. Not just to handle snakes.